So Luke, Fleming from Denmark, aka Cosmetic Birdie, back with another 52 blocks video. In my previous two videos, I covered the blocks with stepping and with shuffling. Stepping was moving in a manner like this, and shuffling was moving around like this. Today, I'm going to cover the blocks with pivots, and pivots is like this. I always hit Bob and he keeps coming back for more. Why is that? Short answer, he likes it. If you like this video, you should come back for more too. And the best way to do that is just a quick answer. One, two, hit like, hit subscribe. It actually helps the YouTube algorithm and that helps me to make more videos for you. And as you are enjoying this content, don't forget to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it with you. I appreciate you, here's what you have to do. I'm back, I'm going to show you how to train your pivots inside the mat and outside the mat. And uh, the short pivot is going to be 45 degrees, correct your foot, swinging your hip, 45 degrees, correct your foot. That's the short pivot. The step around pivot is going to be stepping with the front leg, pivoting out. Stepping with the front leg, pivoting out. So you have the short pivot, that's the standard pivot, and you have the step around pivot. The short pivot outside the mat. Turn and crossbones is going to go outside the right hand. So the right hand is coming over here, outside the right hand. The right hand is coming over here, outside the right hand. The right hand is coming over here, outside the right hand. The right hand is coming over here, outside the right hand. That's the short pivot. The step around pivot is still going to go to the outside. The right hand is coming, step around. 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 That's outside the mat. Inside the mat, right hand is coming, pivot. 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 Always to the outside. Step around pivot. The right hand is coming at this line. So I'm stepping, stepping. To the outside. I'm stepping to the outside. I'm stepping to the outside, and I'm stepping to the outside. That's the long pivot from inside the mat, the short pivot from inside the mat, and we did both outside the mat. Now comes the rear closed door. Rear closed door outside the mat. His hook is coming approximately as the blue line is curving on the floor towards my face. So as the hook is coming, this out here, this is the tra trajectory, and out here where the blue line is, is the impact with my jaw. So as I'm moving inside, I'm inside the impact zone, inside the hook, ready to counter. Then I'm moving inside, ready to counter, and I'm moving Let's get the left hook inside, ready to counter, and I'm moving inside, ready to counter. That's the outside short and the outside long. When the hook is coming here, I want to move away from the hook, across the danger line where the right hand is. So as I step, I have to cover myself and go outside the right hand. As I step, I have to cover myself, go outside the right hand. As I step, I cover myself and go outside the right hand. As I step, I cover myself and go outside the right hand. The long one, I'm moving across, outside the right hand. The right hand is coming here, crossing the right hand. The right hand is coming here, crossing the right hand. The right hand is coming here, crossing the right hand, coming to the outside of the right hand. 
That was the rear closed door. Short pivot, long pivot, outside the mat, inside the mat. Here comes the lead closed door. Outside the mat, the closed pivot. This is the trajectory of the overhand right coming, and I'm moving inside. I'm moving inside the hook. I'm moving inside the hook, and I'm moving inside the hook. The overhand right is not a hook, it's overhand right, but it's sort of a hook. Then I'm gonna go the long one, the overhand right is coming, I'm moving across the left hand, protecting myself, across the left hand, protecting myself, across the left hand, protecting myself, across the left hand, protecting myself. Inside the mat with the short one, I'm moving inside the hook, the overhand right, inside the overhand right, inside the overhand right, inside the overhand right, and the long one, moving away from the overhand right, cross the left, protect, outside, protect, outside, protect, outside, and protect, outside. So now we have scrolling crossbones, we have the rear closed door, the lead closed door. The two last blocks are the rear triangle trade and the lead triangle trade. Starting with the rear, from outside the mat, the short pivot, the left hand, outside the left hand like this, outside the left hand like this, outside the left hand like this, outside the left hand like this. And if you throw the right, and I block with my rear, then I, I'm going across, so I have to step to the outside. The right hand is coming, I'm stepping to the outside. The right hand is coming over here, I'm stepping to the outside. The right hand is coming over here, I'm stepping to the outside, because I'm cross blocking. That was the outside the mat with the rear triangle trade. Now comes inside the mat with the rear triangle trade, and I'm going to go, going to go outside the left hand. So outside the left hand, Outside the left hand, outside the left hand, outside the left hand, and the long one across the block. So the right hand is coming here, I'm going outside the right hand, I'm going outside the right hand, I'm going outside the right hand, and I'm going outside the right hand, like this. That was rear triangle trade, outside the mat and inside the mat. Now comes lead triangle trade, outside the mat. The right hand is coming. Go outside the right hand. Outside the right hand. Outside the right hand. Outside the right hand, the short one. And the long one, the left hand is coming and I'm blocking with my left with my lead, so I have to step across like this, step across like this, step across like this, coming to the outside, step across like this. Now inside, the short one is going to cover his right hand. So outside the right hand, outside the right hand, outside the right hand, outside the right hand. And the left lead against his left, I'm stepping across, coming to the outside. 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 Go to all of the blocks, inside the mat and outside the mat. Now to recap, the short pivot outside the mat, I'm going to start with 
a movement of my hips, move to the outside and correct my foot. I'm gonna start with a movement of the hip, move and correct. That's the short one outside. The short one inside, same, move and correct. Move and correct. So that's the short one, outside and inside. The long pivot inside the mat. Step and pivot. Step and pivot. Long pivot outside the mat. Step pivot. And long pivot to the other side. Still with the front leg. Step pivot outside the mat. So long one inside. Short one inside, long one outside, short one outside. As a bonus, at the very end, I'm going to show you that you can combine your pivots with slips. So let's say the right hand is coming, I'm slipping and I'm pivoting. The left hand is coming, I'm slipping and I'm pivoting. A bigger punch is coming as I step, I also slip, I also slip and pivot. As I step, I also slip and pivot. So you can combine all of your pivots with slips. So that was all, that was all five blocks with pivoting, the short pivot, the long pivot, practicing inside the mat, practicing outside the mat. Outside the mat is the easiest and most realistic because the mat represents your opponent. Inside the mat is to Check your ankles 45 degrees before you reset. Check your ankles 45 degrees before you reset. So that's the purpose of the mat. That was a lot of information. I hope you could use it. This is Fleming from Denmark saying salute. See you on the next one.